In the last section, we introduced the, the idea of styles, and we added a style to the view element of our component. In this section, I want to uh, take a, just a little bit more time to talk about the difference between justify content and align items, because believe it or not, these are probably one of the most confusing topics about positioning inside of React Native. And we're going to talk a whole bunch more about uh, styling in general in future sections, but I want to just kind of give you a solid base so that we can refer back to it in the future. So the, what we're going to talk about in particular is the different uses of justify content and align items. So they're not only used to center content, as we've seen here. You can also use them to push elements to different areas of the page. In this case, we used it to center, but we can also push it to, say, the end of the page or uh, the start of the page over here if we were changing the justify content property. So let's go ahead and try that right now. What I want to do, or what the goal here, what I want to try to change is I want to make the days of the week tag, the text right here, move all the way to the bottom. So remember, justify content, as we have everything defined right now, moves stuff height-wise, so up and down the page. Align items move stuff width-wise, so to the left and the right of the page. So if I want to move this days of the week tag to the very bottom center, I'm going to change justify content. And what I'm going to change it to is a property called flex end. What flex end means is push this content all the way to the bottom or as far down as it possibly can go. So I'm going to save this and refresh and there we go. My content got moved to the very bottom of the page. Next, I'm going to move, change align items to flex end as well. You might be able to guess what's going to happen now. Align items is responsible for moving stuff widthwise around the page. By calling flex end, I'm saying push it as far in the widthwise direction as possible. So I'm going to expect days of the week to pop up down here. I'm going to save the file and a little refresh, and hey, there we go, we're at the very bottom. In addition to flex end is also the idea of flex start. So we'll change to flex start, and as you may imagine, flex start says pull it to as far left as possible. So in this case, I'm going to expect days of the week to end up down here because I changed align items to flex start which is responsible for moving content widthwise. So we'll refresh, and there we go, bottom left corner. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, this doesn't seem you know, that complicated. This isn't too bad, right? Well, you know, everything just tends to get a little complicated every now and then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a wrench in this entirely, OK? Um, we now have this idea that justify content always operates height-wise, whereas align items always operates width-wise. And that's like a pretty easy rule, right? You can kind of stomach that. Uh, maybe you could come up with a mnemonic device and try to remember that just all the time, right? Kind of internalize it. Well, turns out that we are given the ability very easily to flip the operation of justify content and align items. And that's done using the flex direction property. Flex direction always defaults to column. So even though we didn't write flex direction before, it really is its a default style. It's something that already exists in this style, right, or on this element. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And really, we should expect to see nothing change here, right? Nothing should be changing. So I'm going to refresh. And sure enough, days of the week, still at the bottom of the left. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and throw the wrench in here. And I'm going to change column to row instead. And I'm going to save the, save the page, or excuse me, save our code. And then we're going to go ahead and refresh and see what happens. Well, <laughs> it might look like it disappeared. But sure enough, you can see days of the week is now on the top right of the page. OK, so what the heck happened here? Well, again, we get the 
the property flex direction, which changes the operation of justify content and align items. That's why these aren't named something like, you know, position in X direction or position in Y direction. They're given a little bit more esoteric titles like justify content and align items. So when we change flex direction to row, justify content now moves content widthwise and align items now moves content heightwise. So if we say our flex end for width and flex start for height, this actually starts to make sense, right? In the width direction, we pushed our content as far right as possible because we have flex end. And in the Y direction, our content is at the very top of the page, the very start of the page, because in line items, which is now responsible for height, is equal to flex start. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip everything back to was, how it was before. So I'm gonna delete this property, and then we'll go back to center and center, and then we'll change our notation here to height and width. Okay, so now we're back to center, center. So you might ask yourself, why in the world would we ever voluntarily flip those two properties, right? It just seems like an inherently confusing thing. And there is very good reason to it. There, is some, there are some very subtle differences to how justify content and line items behave. We don't only get op, uh, access to the properties flex end, flex start, and center. There's actually a couple more that we get access to, some of which are only available to justify content and some of which are only available to align items. And we'll definitely investigate those different properties in a future section. But for right now, I just wanted to introduce you to the idea that we have the idea of being able to move content around on the page, but you can't quite just memorize or always assume these properties are always gonna work the same. We can very easily flip the way they work by changing flex direction. So again, we're going to cover styling in great detail on a future app. And uh, the, real, the purpose here is just to get your eyes open and say and realize that uh, uh, you know, I, I want to form a, a solid base of, of the operation of justify content and align items. So in summary, we used our style sheet object to create a style sheet with one style of container. And then we then applied that container property to only the view style excuse me, the view element. We were able to move the content of the view element, which is the text, around on the page by changing the justify content and align items properties. So enough about uh, the idea behind positioning and flex. Let's continue on to the next section.